Hey guys, Robbie here from Verve. Welcome to my home gym. Come. I'm having the time of my life. Everything is going all right. Oh, I just made them look twice. This is how it feels when you're living that good, good life. I'm just living All right, this is it. I'm gonna walk you through it. I'm gonna start from here and I'll work my way around. So, of course, we've got the happy plant. You gotta get some nature into any sort of dark closed space. Got the boxing bag, great for some upper body cardio. The Verve hip thruster, this was probably one of the most important pieces of equipment for me because hip thrusts alone have helped with my lower back pain and my glute development. The reason why I got this hip thruster especially, it's got the pegs on the side, so you can add bands. So you can add bands to the barbells, to the pegs, and you can get extra stimulus and make the um, repetition through the hip thrust harder as you get to the top of the motion. Then we've got the Verve half rack. I said the hip thruster was what I wanted the most, but in terms of functionality, you can't go wrong with a squat rack. You can do almost every single exercise, hit every single mu muscle group with a squat rack. Weight plates, which are all Verve weight plates. I chose these ones because of the aesthetic look of the black and the B great. I just think it looks awesome in the home gym. I wanted to keep it all aesthetic. That was a very important part for me. So, you know, the dark gray walls, the black flooring, the black equipment, and then, you know, camouflage barbell to stand out in this zone, the red barbell to stand out with the red pegs in that zone with the hip thruster. Another thing that makes a half rack great is the pull-up bar and the height of the pull-up bar. If I am standing here, I can't even reach it. So in terms of doing pull-ups, I know that I can completely dead hang. And dead hangs are also a great exercise that I like to do, especially in the mornings. It just helps lengthen your spine and decompress. They're only good if, you're, if your pull-up bar is high enough. And on this squat rack, that pull-up bar is extremely high, which is good for me. You've also got the safety bars in the half rack. If I wanted to, I could use them as spotter arms. So if I'm going for heavy spots, heavy bench press, I can use those safety arms as well even with the half rack. The other good thing about this half rack is the west side hole spacing. Especially with bench press, you wanna make sure that the height is right. And a lot of the times you'll find when you adjust the J hooks, it's just a little bit too high. And then you adjust the line, it's just a little bit too low. These west side hole spaces eliminate that problem because you've got the micro adjustment. So you can, you can adjust the height for your bench press perfectly. Moving on to the bench, best bench I've ever had. The thickness of the pad is just absolutely incredible, especially when you're doing single arm rows because you put your knee on the bench. You wanna make sure you got a lot of cushion through your patella tendon. Like, I'm sure you've all experienced putting your knee on a, on a bench with a, like a crappy pad and it just hurts your kneecap as you're doing the single arm rows and then your attention goes off the exercise and it goes towards your kneecap being in pain. This bench eliminates that problem. We've got the Verve box. I needed to have a box in my gym because step ups for one are a great exercise for glute development. I spoke about that before with the hip thrusts. And they're also a little bit less, less taxing on the body than like walking lunges because as you walk in lunge, you've got impact every step. Whereas with step ups, there's no impact. So you can really focus on that drive. And you can also change the angle. So go onto the side. That's a good reason to have a box. Also, if I'm taking clients or, or anyone through the gym, especially ladies, boxes are great for doing like incline push-ups. You can change the height to make it a little bit higher and then a little bit higher again. Boxes are obviously also good for box jumps, um, but I mostly use it for step-ups. This is my home gym.